This is a low magnification photomicrograph of Christ's hand. First of all, the pattern of cracking in the black is very, very different than the cracking in the hand. So we have this black, almost alligator overall crackling, and then you have this kind of drying cracks, sporadic scattered cracks in the hand itself. In the lower part of his hand, you can see these light areas coming through the black background. This is where the artist had second thoughts. He initially painted the hand with a more downward gesture, and then he changed his mind and covered it up with black paint and had his hand go more upright. This was probably not visible to the viewer for the first hundred or so years, but as the cracking got stronger and different cleanings and revarnishings occurred, the change that he made became more and more visible. If you look back at the x-ray view of this detail, you will be able to see very clearly the original position of the hand. And here we have at the top of his hand a detail. These are lumps of paint the microscope light is reflecting quite strongly off of this to reveal the white underlayer, the gesso layer, being exposed because the lumps were abraded and all the paint was rubbed off and left these white lumps. The gesso layer is what's painted on the wood panel to prepare it for applying the paint smoothly.